Hey, you know, some uh, a comment that I've got a lot uh, over the last year is that um, I'm um, I'm obsessed with COVID. Like I should uh, I should kind of spend more time. Uh, you know, I should kind of just stop looking at it and uh, and you know enjoy my life. I got that comment a hell of a lot. Uh, family, friends, um, and um, the f the way I see it is, I I don't feel like I'm obsessed. I feel like everyone else is obsessed. Uh, I'm just trying to be normal. But but what is normal is uh, is changing. For example, I just, I just came off a train from uh, Leeds to York. People wearing the masks. Let's. I, the thing about these masks is we can have a debate on Facebook all day about the efficacy of masks, but I just know it deep in my gut that that masks are completely pointless um, because you're putting a bit of cloth on your face when you sit down on a train. And you're not even sick. You just put in a bit of cloth on your face, and then you get off the train. You throw it off. You know, I'm I'm pretty sure that not even one life has been saved by mask wearing. And it's uh, it's it's just it doesn't take much common sense to see stuff like that. I don't think one life has been saved by social distancing. I don't think one life has been saved by the lockdown. I mean, you, you might be able to argue that maybe some murders didn't happen because because more people are inside. Some people avoided getting murdered, but I don't think there's any link between lockdown, social distancing, mask wearing. I don't think there's any link between all that stuff and uh, reducing death. Um, and... Um, I think, on the contrary, I think it's causing a lot of suffering. It's just weird. I don't like it. I, I, I didn't grow up in this in this fucking world where you you go to the pub and you put a mask on and you know, and then you social distance from people. It's just, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really dark, and uh, I just. I don't. I know I'm not alone, but I don't. I don't like it. I don't. I don't, I don't want to live in this world anymore. Um, and I think people are putting up with it because they think it's temporary. Well, will someone let me know when it ends? And I'll be quite happy to make a video saying sorry. I was wrong, but it's not. It's, it's when something goes on for a year and a half. It's not temporary, is it? When something goes on for two years, three years, it's not temporary. When something goes on for five years, ten years, not temporary. If something goes on for a hundred years, is that temporary? I mean, everything is in constant change. You know, society and stuff like that. So, everything is temporary in a way, but if, some, if, you, if you change society in a, in a profound way, and it stays and it stays like that for, for for you know years and years. It's not temporary, and um, it's, I think it's really pathetic to see people going along with this without question and thinking that it's not their problem. Uh, it's really disgusted me, and uh, you know I respect everyone, um, everyone's choices, but. I just can't believe how passive people are being. How uh, it's it's really shown me of this last year that people are just willing to just just basically do anything. If someone if, if someone in a, in a nice white coat who calls himself a scientist tells you to do something, people will do it. And uh, yeah.
yeah some days some days i feel i feel pretty positive because i know there's a there's a load of people waking up but some days i just feel like oh i just want to i just want to move to a different country or move to a different planet if i could but anyway see you later